welcome to this week's pregnancy update. This is week 28 and Theo is about the size of a tropical coconut. I'm not sure if there's such a thing as a non-tropical coconut, but that's what my app said. So yeah, that's how big he is. And uh, I actually went to a midwife's appointment today, so I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But first I, as usual, want to go over symptoms. And basically they're the same. Heartburn is still pretty bad. Um, I still have some aches in my tummy sometimes. And then just the normal stuff that comes with being in your third trimester and starting to become heavier and just more winded and all that stuff. I also have, I can't remember if I talked about this last week, but I have, I think, a pinched nerve um, on my left side, um, kind of at the small of my back. And if I start feeling it and I walk, I keep walking or moving around, uh, eventually it kind of hurts whenever I try to like stand on my left foot or not stand on it but like use it basically so it's not a very good thing it's not a fun thing but I'm trying to when I start feeling it I try to uh, kind of sit down or lie down so that it will go away I don't know if it's connected to the pregnancy but I I'm guessing it is I've had this maybe three or four times throughout the pregnancy and never before so yeah I think it's because of Theo Weight gain I actually don't know anything about because I forgot to weigh myself this morning but I have made kind of a pact with myself and with Michael uh, specifically that I need to walk more because that's pretty much all I feel like I can do right now. I am way too like tired and in too much pain or discomfort or whatever you want to call it to actually work out so walks need to become a daily thing. I don't want to put up a specific goal for myself because it all depends on the day. If I've been to the university, I have more steps. If I've, if I've been at home studying, I have less steps. So we're just going to try to take a walk every evening just as a family and that way at least we get one walk in every day. Okay, so for the midwife's appointment, um, I was there I think three weeks ago, so it was time to go back. She measured my tummy and uh, I'm not sure actually how it works, but they basically measure the the, what's it called, uterus, um, from like where it starts at the, at the top of your belly to where it ends, I guess. And that measurement had gone from 24 centimeters to 28 centimeters. And when she put it in like a chart or a graph or something on her computer, it was like exactly according to the, the like, I don't know what to call it, but the like middle line or whatever. So he's growing as he should I guess and she also checked my iron levels and they had actually gone up which I was surprised about because I have not been good at taking my iron pills um, I've taken them maybe five days since the last appointment which was three weeks ago so I think it was three weeks ago now but I think about it I'm not sure but I, I think I think I'm supposed to go there every three, three weeks. So yeah, anyway, um, I have not been very good at taking my pills basically, but my iron levels had gone from, let's see, 112 to 118. So she said that, oh, that's good, very good. Keep eating your iron. And I'm like, yeah, I will. I will keep eating them, <laughs> but I will get better at it. I'm gonna start putting them out in the evening um, on our like kitchen table so that I see them in the morning. Cause usually it's just cause I forget them. Um, so I'm gonna try to get better because obviously I need iron so yeah <laughs> I feel bad for not taking them and the last thing that has to do with this appointment that I went to today is that we actually booked or booked yeah well whatever booked um, an appointment for two weeks from now just because I did have my last child pretty early on in the pregnant <laughs> early on all sounds it all sounds very weird, I'm very tired. Um, Tyrion was born at 34, 35 weeks. Um, so um, yeah, they basically want to check me a bit more often than, than other women, I guess. So I'm going back in two weeks and also right after that appointment, I am going to the doctors because she also booked me an appointment for the doctor that they have there. And he's gonna check, as far as I can understand, could understand from what she was saying, she, he is one gonna check my cervix to see if it's um, changing in any way to in indicate that pregnancy is like, um, or that delivery 
to come. Well, that delivery is, is coming closer, I guess. And also he's gonna check for bacteria because that could also have been the reason that Tyrion was early, but we don't know. So basically they're gonna, the doctor's gonna check for some things that could indicate early labor. Labor is the word I was looking for. Um, so I'm nervous about that because I don't like the pokey stuff down there. I think it's very scary with all the instruments and stuff. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I'm sure I'll live through it. So that's in two weeks. Um, and yeah, that's everything for the midwife appointment thing. We didn't have much to talk about actually. So I thought that I would go on to uh, baby buys or pregnancy buys. I actually haven't done any of those this week, but I finished the cardigan that I kind of showed you last week. This is the finished product. There we go. Um, I think it's just so cute. Um, and it's pretty heavy. It's a heavy yarn. Um, and it's just, um, let's see. It's one of these that you tie onto the baby. And then it's just, yeah, it's just a cardigan. And I think I did this in size three months to six months. If I remember correctly and then I also actually finished a pair of pants and these are in one to three months but I think they're kind of small so they're probably gonna fit him earlier than that unless he's super early so yeah a pair of yellow knitted pants and I actually already started on a hat with that same yellow yarn because I want to finish it so hopefully uh, the rest of the yarn is enough to finish that little hat so that's gonna be cute too and that's it that's what I've been able to accomplish this week um, and then on the birth plan thing I kind of feel like we're not gonna be able to talk about the birth plan every week for the rest of the pregnancy because there's not that much you write into your birth plan as far as I know um, but one thing that I wanted to bring up is filming. Obviously we want to be filming the birth. The problem is I'm not sure if it's allowed. A friend of mine said that she doesn't think that you're allowed to actually film in the like delivery room, which seems very odd to me. The, especially in this day and age when everyone kind of has a camera on their phone and stuff. I don't know, but I'm gonna talk to someone at the hospital, I don't know. I'm gonna try to find an answer to this, because we definitely want to film it. Not like the gory stuff, but you know, all the, the stuff all around it. Um, and Theo's first moments and all that stuff. So yeah, that's something that I guess I could write into my birth plan as soon as I make sure that it's okay, like for the hospital that we film. To write it in the birth plan so that like the midwives and stuff stuff that end up helping me that they know that Michael will be filming and it's fine <laughs> um, and yeah that's pretty much it for today we didn't have a lot to talk about it feels like so yeah now let's look at the belly so here is the big baby bump from the front and from the side and the other side. People can definitely tell that I'm pregnant now, <laughs> which is exciting. Um, please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs and we will see you tomorrow. Hey doll.